Uh, Mr. Noel, I believe, is a story of my own invention. But I shouldn't like to have to go into the witness box in a court of law and take my oath on it. I think I might venture to make a use of a phrase of Dr. Johnson's and say that if a story is good, it's unlikely to be new, and if it's new, it's unlikely to be good. The fact is, we storytellers, like the hero of a celebrated poem, have come too late into a world too old. Mr. Noel. I was prepared to dislike Max Collada even before I knew him. The war had just finished and passenger traffic in the ocean-going liners was heavy. Accommodation was very hard to get and you had to put up with whatever the agents chose to offer you. I'm sorry, Mr. Gray. I'm afraid there's only a single berth in a cabin for two. Oh, that's all right, my boy. Thank you very much for all the trouble you've taken. I know how difficult it is. Well, look forward to seeing you tomorrow, eh? Goodbye. Goodbye. Who's next? Me. I think I'm next. That's right, you're next after me. Uh, my name's Kalada. K-L-A-D-A, Kalada. You've got a berth reserved for me on the Queen of the Indies. And uh, my name's Ramsey. One at a time, please. Kalada. British subject. I was before this gentleman. Is that right? Gentleman. After such a compliment, I can only say yes. Fella, the floor's all yours. My name's Ramsey. You've had a message about me from the colonial office. Oh, yes, Mr. Ramsey. You're going to Aden, aren't you? And that's right, with uh, Mrs. Ramsey. Excuse me, I'll get your tickets. Thank you. VIP, I suppose. No, just a civil servant. You're taking your wife to Aden? Why not? But that climate. My wife's had two years alone in London already. OK, fella, she's your wife. Here we are, sir. Mr. and Mrs. Ramsey, cabin 102, deck A. No, oh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. See you aboard. Uh, my name's Kalada. Uh, you want a berth reserved for me on the Queen of the Indies, stopping off at Portside. I'll just see if your name's on the list, sir. Um, you, uh, you like a cigar, hmm? I don't smoke. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. I get them made special. Same fellow what makes for the Aga Khan and Winnie. I'm afraid, Mr. Kalada, we can't get you on the Queen of the Indies. Oh, yes, you can. I'm afraid not, sir. You see, we have one cancelled berth and seven ahead of you on the waiting list. Then where's your boss, huh? He can't see you at the moment, sir. Oh, can't he? Where's his office? Over there? He's rather busy at the moment. Yeah, so am I. I can spend him five minutes. You look after me. I look after you. Oh, thank you very much indeed, sir. Who am I sharing with, Stuart? Uh, Mr. Collada, sir. Oh, a foreigner, eh? No, sir. English. At least that's what he says he is. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, sir. Good heavens. Sharing a cabin, I believe. Yes, bit of luck. I'm all for us English sticking together when we travel abroad. Are you English too? British to the backbone. I was born in the heart of our great empire. Mm -hmm. Buckingham Palace. No, but quite near. A stone's throw away. They used to have to change the guard on tiptoe so as not to wake me up. <laughs> I was a very delicate child. What's your racket? I beg your pardon. I'm in the precious stones and jewelry business, and I don't mind telling you there's no one in the trade knows more about it than I do myself. The three on the four. What you say your racket was? I didn't say, but if you particularly want to know, I'm in the civil service. Groundnuts? No. I happen to be an economist. Ah. I hear the finances in Hong Kong are not too good. I suppose you're going out there to... How did you know I was going to Hong Kong? Uh, ah, there isn't much I don't know. 
I must go to the dining room and get a seat at table. Wait a minute, that's all been fixed. I got you a seat. I thought we were sharing the same cabin and we ought to sit at the same table. How about a drink, huh? Not now, thank you very much. I promised to have one with somebody else. Well, have one while you're waiting, a steward. Oh, here they are. Hello, ah. Ramsay. Uh, See you later. Not that old chap, no. Hello, Ramsay. Remember me, huh? Calada. We met yesterday at the agency. No, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. Oh, don't be silly. Of course you do. Mrs. Ramsay, I presume. How do you do? Have a drink, Mrs. Ramsay. We've asked Mr. Gray to have one with us. Well, now you can have one with me, and you can buy the next round. Sit down, Mrs. Ramsay, please. Steward. Uh, we have a long trip ahead of us, and the sooner we get to know each other, the better. Uh, how you like the ship, Mrs. Ramsay? Could be worse, eh? It seems to be quite comfortable. Not a bad crowd on board for this time of the year, huh? Well, we haven't really met anybody yet. If there's anyone here you want to meet, just let me know, and I'll fix it up in a jiffy. I don't think we need trouble, you. You're going to Aden, aren't you? I don't think you like it. It's very hot. I know it very well. There's very little Mr. Collada doesn't know well. That's right. Steward! <laughs> How's your friend Collada? I think I'll probably have to murder him before the trip's out. He's awful, isn't he? <laughs> dear, here he comes. Come on, darling. Hello, fella. Browning up. Having a breath of fresh air. <laughs> I got your ticket for the day's sweep. You don't really want one, you know. Oh, must be a sport. You never know. Besides, you might win. I want a couple of bucks from you for the sport. A couple of what? Oh, ten shillings. I got it all organised. Would you believe it? They didn't want to have a fancy dress ball, but I soon talked them into it. Oh, Bewley, I have got you down for the uh, for the ship's concert. Oh, yes, but I shall have to try my songs out with a piano. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> He's a singer. Uh, can you play the piano? As a matter of fact, I can a bit. Or would you play for him? No. Oh, but England expects every man on board who will do his duty. Yeah. I'm going to do card tricks. You know there's nothing I dislike more than card tricks. Oh, wait till you see mine. I can make a pack of cards, do anything I want. As a matter of fact, I better give up gambling. It wasn't fair on the other players. I, I know too much about cards. Mr. Know-all, eh? <laughs> it's funny how that name's got around. But I ask you, what sort of a trip would it be without me, huh? You certainly are the life and soul of the party. I know I am. I'm not conceited, but I'm the most popular man on this ship, and I can't help knowing it. <laughs> how about the snifter before lunch, huh? Very well. Here's your couple of bucks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ah, damn, Stuart! You think that was clever? You haven't seen anything yet. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the grand finale. I'm going to show you a trick that only four men in the world can do. And I taught the other three. <laughs> <laughs> now, for this trick, I shall need the assistance of two members of the audience. And to show you I don't mind who they are, I'm going to pick them out myself. Ah! Mrs. Ramsay, will you be good enough to lend me your services? And, and you, Mr. Fellows? No, Mr. Cloud, please. Oh, come that. along now. Don't be shy. Nothing to be shy about. I'm not shy, am I? Now, give them a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Where you went? Oh, it's so hot in there, I thought I'd come out here for a breath of fresh air. Me too. Let's go to the boat deck, huh? Why? Well, it's school rough there. It's quiet, but we can have a little talk. I'm quite happy down here, thank you. That's a nice stone you got.